We see a second wave, um, what looks like possibly a second wave of the coronavirus going through the U.S. And we've seen recently an increased uh, number. Some of the, you know, red lights have been going on in certain cities and states in Germany. Are you concerned about that possibility here in Europe? We are pretty much concerned that there's going to be a second uh, wave of infections. Um, and uh, what I learned from my colleagues uh, from epidemiology, um, from the virologists as well, uh, is that uh, a second wave of infections will not be avoidable uh, at, at the latest uh, during the winter term. And uh, I think the question is not whether we can fully avoid such a uh, second wave of infections, but whether we are better prepared uh, to cope with it in order to avoid the lockdown uh, that we have currently seen. So when you think about the South Korean strategy, it worked pretty well. And the South Korea didn't have to uh, lock down its economy as much as Germany did. Uh, and uh, of course, in France, in Italy, in Spain, the lockdown was even harder than uh, it was in our country. We've talked a bit about the pan-European response. What about the German response, the German fiscal stimulus last? Um, do you think that there is... Well, is there, are there elements of it that worry you in terms of the, the government directing uh, the, the economy to, to a larger degree than it did previously, taking stakes in businesses, um, bailing out businesses, picking champions in certain sectors? Are you concerned about the role of the state here? Well, um, I am concerned with, with the role of the state, and I'm always uh, looking uh, very uh, carefully what the government is doing in that regard. Uh, I, I can uh, fully accept that there is uh, a huge fiscal stimulus needed in order to cope with this um, uh, crisis, but uh, it should not be used um, uh, to conduct a particular industrial policy um, while closing down to some extent uh, the German economy uh, to uh, investors from abroad, in particular investors from China or the US. So this is something we have to be uh, very cautious about, that nothing like that happens. Well, what do you think we're going to need in terms of stimulus when the second wave then hits? I mean, how do you expect that? to affect the economy further? Well, the goal is to, to avoid a lockdown during a second wave and to be able in the health system to cope with uh, a second wave fully if it's coming up. Uh, and uh, then uh, we perhaps don't even need a second uh, or third um, uh, package of uh, fiscal stimulus. Uh, perhaps then everything is working out quite fine um, and we can have this V-shaped uh, scenario of uh, economic growth uh, in Germany. Uh, this is something we are um, uh, still trying to uh, realize. And um, when you look at the most recent figures, uh, they the, reported about April, it shows this big um, um, breakdown of the German economy. But uh, when you uh, look at figures from May, from last week and so on, you already see the take up um, of uh, the German economy as well. So it very much looks like that we can realize a V-shaped uh, scenario and then um, uh, avoiding a second lockdown will be sufficient.